So I've covered this before in another video, but I wanna make this short one here for you specifically asking how to prioritize your day in network marketing to do maximum results. I came from the corporate sales world and I got some good results there. And I had a really good mentor that basically told me, Zach, if you take care of the morning, the rest of the day will take care of itself. Essentially what he meant was, Zach, if you come in at 7.45, be on the phone by eight o'clock making cold calls, because that's what I was doing at the time, make cold calls at eight o'clock all the way till noon, you do that every day, the rest of the day in your career will take care of itself. So I started doing that. I'd come in at 7.45, get my coffee really quick, and bang, I'd be on the phone. So I'd prepare my stuff the night before, and at eight o'clock, I was on the phone making 100 cold calls. And you know what? Within three months, I had more good stuff happening than some people had in a year or two. And I was really, really blessed because I just followed that guy's coaching. Now, the exact same thing happens here in network marketing. If you take care of the morning, the rest of the day in your career will take care of itself. So some of you are working a job, that's okay. After you get off from work, treat right after work as your morning for network marketing. So you take care of the time that you have right after work, that's your morning, and take care of that time and the rest of the time in your night and your career will take care of itself. Now what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is take care of you and your business before your team and before any menial to-dos. Okay, so I'll give you an example. The way I structure my day is in the morning, the very first thing I do is I schedule new applications that I wanna to speak to. So if you don't know what we do, we basically create recruiting systems, online marketing, excuse me, online recruiting systems for MLM to get people to come to us so that we can just close them into our team, right, if they should be. And we teach people how to do that. So we've had, have had, we've had as many as 900 applicants in a day come in before for our team, for my just us. We've sponsored more people in a week than some people will do in multiple years. And we do that through the MLM Rebel systems. So the very first thing that I do in the morning is I come in and I schedule new applications that I wanna to speak to. Now, that's the first thing I do. The second thing I do is I call any scheduled applicants that I wanna call. The third thing I do is I have any unscheduled calls that I wanna make. And the fourth thing I do is produce content. The fifth thing I do is any critical money-making tasks. And the sixth thing is critical to-dos. The sixth thing. That means checking email and that kind of crap. So I don't let other people put their needs on me. I take care of our needs and then I take care of theirs. Now, that could sound selfish to you if you just depends on where you're coming from, okay? I, there probably would have point, been a point in my career where I would have thought what I just said sounds, sounds selfish too. But at this point, we're, I think, over 10 years uh, in the network marketing industry and over four years of being full-time in our own business. And that being the case, we found out that you have to take care of you first, otherwise you won't have any revenue to take care of your own team. So we've also found that we can serve our team way better without a job than with one. So we've learned, we learned early on that if I take care of me and our finances, right, by sponsoring people personally and that kind of thing, if I can do that, I can not have a job and I can take the available time that I have after that and spend it on my team and serve them. So the first thing that I do is I take care of the house. I bring money into the house first, and then after, the, after we're taken care of, I go and serve the team. So if you focus all of your effort on giving to others, which I've done before in the past, all of my effort on giving to others and not really giving to me, what happens is you end up being quite frustrated because most people don't listen to you. You end up going broke or not having that much money and most likely need a second source of income. That's a really weak position to be in because you're completely dependent on what other people do. I never want my finances to be dependent on what other people are doing. Now, obviously, network marketing, once it gets to a certain point, it is very much dependent on that, but it gets so much, it gets so big that the mass takes care of it. So remember, take care of the morning, the rest of the day will take care of you. So what that means is the first thing you need to do is call or talk or email anyone that is closest to the money closest to the money. So that means if you're one call away from closing someone, call that person first. If you're two calls away from closing someone else, call that person second. You take care of those people first, closest to the money, okay? Second, 
deal with prospecting. So whatever that looks like for you, if you're cold contacting people at malls, whatever, if you're cold calling, whatever, if you're spamming people all over Facebook, that's cool. I mean, it's not really cool, but fine. If you're running campaigns like you should be, getting people to come to you, that's what we do, deal with those prospects, right? So I'm, I haven't have made a cold or warm approach in network marketing for years because we have so many people coming to us and it's not because we're so famous, we're not. It's because we have good marketing out there. And I'm gonna show you where to learn how to do that here in just a second. So bring money into the house, take care of your prospecting, then take care of your team and critical to-dos, okay? So remember, to-dos, like checking email, that kind of stuff, that is after. Now, if you have a situation like I just gave where I'm like one email away from closing someone, just need to send them a quick thing and boom, it's done. But in order to do that, I have to open my email. If I have to open my email to do that, mm, now I might be looking at my email and I might jump over to my to-dos and I shouldn't be there yet. So you can do one of a few things. Here's my thing. I write the email in just like a Word document or a text edit document. I write the whole email out. I copy it, I open my email, and I literally cover up most of the screen with like my, my hand. And I literally just hit compose, paste it in there, send it, and I close the email down. You can do that, or you can just keep all of your emails in a text edit document, and then when you're ready to send them, like at the end of the night when you're checking your email, you put it into the email thing and you send it. So figure out the way your brain works and basically hack it, okay? Figure out how it works and change it. I know that if I open my email, like my peripheral vision is going to pick up other stuff, and I'm gonna, I'll start thinking about it, crap, and I'm supposed to be bringing money to the house, but now I'm working on my WordPress thing. Like, what? That has nothing to do with sponsoring someone. So why am I there? This is making sense, so don't split your focus. Stay focused. This game is all about focus, focus, not hocus pocus. So learn how your mind works and focus on one thing at a time. Multitasking is a complete load of crap. There is no such thing as multitasking effectively. You are single tasking. There's a reason that people that do one thing really well are very highly paid and people that do lots of things sort of well are medium paid. A general contractor makes less than the architect. Just like when I was a freelancer or an agency owner, I made less when I did Facebook ads, copywriting, websites, funnels, and all this crap. I made less than when all I did was copywriting. You need a funnel built? Go over there. I'll write the copy. I can make way more writing one sales letter than I can building a funnel and writing ads for this and writing ads for that and targeting this and targeting that. One. So focus on one thing at a time. Cool? All right. Now, I know I told you how we would how we get our prospects to come to us. Go to mlmrebelsblueprint.com. It's a free download where we share exactly how we do it. And if you have eyes to see, if you know what you're looking for, it's gonna teach you a lot. Actually, it's gonna tell you exactly how we do what we do. So it's mlmrebelsblueprint.com. And if you wanna learn, or if you wanna join the discussion group about this exact topic, go to mlmsalesfunnels.com. And with that, if you found value in this, do me a favor, hit the like button, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. And with that, I'll see you all soon.